Hello everyone, this is Shreya and today we will be finding an answer to an amazing question. We all know that the trunk of a tree is always in a cylindrical shape. Wait, but why? Mm, do you know the answer to this question? So why don't we find the answer to this amazing question together? So let us do with this with the help of an activity. The things that we would be requiring in this activity are three color sheet that should be cut in a rectangular shape with measuring with 14.5 as length and 9.5 as breadth. We would also be needing some cereals like pulses or flour. The steps of the activity are as follows. We would we need to fold the first sheet into a cylinder second into a prism and third into a cuboid. These are the pictures that would help you to give a visual representation of the steps. Now we will fill these shapes with those cereals. After filling we will remove the shapes and we will see the amount of cereals that were inside them. This would help us to give the uh, representation of the volume of the figures. The final result is that we will notice that the amount of cereals is comparatively more in cylinder than other figures. As we can see in the following pictures that the amount of cereals that came out of the cylinder is more than in comparison to the prism or cuboid. Thus we come to a conclusion that the more the volume of the trunk would be the more the strength and it, uh, the power it would uphold to hold the tree for the longer time. We also have a mathematical proof of the same. We know that the cylinder volume formula is pi r square h with pi being taken as 3.14. By putting the values, we will get the answer as 131.550 cm cube. Similarly, we would put the formula of volume of prism and we will get the answer as 45.6 cm cube. In cuboid, by putting the formula of volume, we will get the answer as 69.255 cm cube. Thus, we can see that in mathematical way also, we will have find that this volume of cylinder is more than prism and cuboid. Thank you. I hope you, would, you, had, eas you had easily understood the answer to this amazing question. Thank you for watching.